she's from the north, bilingual, and well, a she. So what's Dr. Ivelisse Rosa of Tri-County Podiatry doing in an office dominated by sports-loving male counterparts? Quite simply, enjoying the Florida weather, her passion for podiatry, and bringing a different perspective to her patients and the office. Uh, Florida. What's not to love about Florida? Especially being from New York in the cold, it was always, always a fascination to come out here eventually. Get rid of all of the hustle and bustle of New York, come out here, enjoy the weather, and also um, work brought me down here too. Previously, I was an associate at a practice up in Tom's River. How I became interested in podiatry was working with a podiatrist for about a good two years before I graduated from college. He kind of taught me the rope, showed me what it entailed, and the reason why I liked podiatry was that it encompassed a whole bunch of different areas of medicine. Dermatology, orthopedics, biomechanics, vascular, neurology, put them all together, and we take care of all those issues on the foot. What I love about this office is the fact that everybody is just so down to earth. They're willing to listen to you. Everybody works as a team. Everybody gets along. And especially the fact that the doctors will sit there and take time to listen and communicate with the patients, let them know exactly what's going on and how to go about treating them. That's what I love because I tend to be the same way. Well, being a female in the podiatric industry is kind of interesting because I get that question all the time from a lot of people how do I, go, how do I get into this business. And I tell them, I give them my story. And um, I tell, you know, the, the fun thing about it is that I feel that I could add a little bit of more feminine touch, a little bit of extra caring, a little bit more of, of listening and, and being able to give you that little bit of extra time to try to make you understand and how to go about treating things. I'm not saying that the guys don't do that. <laughs> I'm just saying that um, being a female, I might be a little bit more apt to, to sympathize with you. So, um, so yeah, so if you see me make your faces in the room, and I, I'm just kind of sympathizing with you. <laughs> I moved out here on a whim. Um, I knew I wanted to work out here, like I said, initially. And I ended up buying a house in the same community that the rest free um, is living in. And just kind of asking questions and working with the people there, I asked him if they knew any jobs or any podiatrists in the area, and he mentioned him. His, his wife Lori and I emailed her my resume and next thing you know the next day I got a phone call. So came in for the interview and it's kind of history from there. We asked Dr. Rosa, who admits she doesn't have much need to utilize her Spanish language skills, to share with us how she feels about being part of the Tri-County Podiatry team in Spanish. Yo estoy muy orgullosa de estar aquí con este, con este tipo y yo quiero anunciar que Voy a empezar este en enero y estoy aquí para ayudar a todos los gente que necesitan ayuda, especialmente con español, así yo puedo a, a ver lo que está pasando con ustedes y tratarlo con mucho amor 